clicked on this video, then you already started animation, you're beginning with it, or you want to start animation. And I'm here to talk you through everything that I went through for the process just quicker. The first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is the apps that I use to make stop motion animation slash edit. But this is just not going to be a one part tutorial. It's going to be like multiple parts. I'm going to do camera movements. I'm going to do frame rates. I'm going to do editing. I'm going to do special effects. I'm going to do sound effects. I'm going to do sound design. I'm going to do all of that for you guys in the entire series. So you guys will have to go to different videos instead of mine because you know <laughs> I like the views thanks for the views all of you and thank you for almost 150 subscribers if not even almost a little bit far but hey we're getting there but um so I will basically be showing you the way I know the way now number one the first app that I use is an app called stop motion studio I don't know how to pronounce their name, so I'm not going to say it, but I use Stop Motion Studio all the time, and there's two different versions. There's a version where it's free, obviously, and there's a version where you pay for it. The version that you pay for, you get more features, you get to erase things out of the background, like uh, wires, hands, stuff like that, you get green screen, you get like basically it's premium now with the free version you don't get any of that but uh i don't i have the free version except that i paid for specific features instead of getting everything because i didn't necessarily need everything so this app allows you to basically make stop motions on your phone even though i already put in the beginning of the video the things that i use i'm just going to list them anyway so the first thing i use is a tripod that's fit from that's fit for my phone. Uh, second thing, headphones, and obviously your phone. Um, another thing I would recommend you use is you use lighting. Like, don't try to use like the light in your room or light from outside because that will really mess up your shots. And like, if you use a focus lighting like the one I have right here, which you don't see any light flicker or any exposure change then you're all set as far as like budget wise you don't have to spend a whole lot of money just to get perfect stuff like you can i'm doing it right now i mean it's not perfect but it's, it's okay the light that i'm using wasn't even ten dollars it was two as far as like links go i'll put a link in the description where i got this this little tripod um i'll put a link in the description on that I'll also put links in the description on the editing apps that I use and the stop motion animation app that I use for both Android and iOS. So if you want to download that and give it a go yourself, you can download that from the description below. Now with that being said, uh, I already told you like what you need to do, what you need, so we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to let you guys know about stop motion is FPS. FPS means frames per second, so... The FPS that I shoot at is from 17 to 24 frames, depending on what I'm doing and what the actions are, or how long I want something to be. What I recommend that you start with is from 12 to 15, you don't have to go too much, but if you need to, you can just start from 5 or something like that, because that's how I started. That's how my first movies were. If you check out my oldest video, um, I believe it was The Reverse Flash Returns. If you check out that video, you can see that um, I shot at 5 FPS. And then I progressed, and then I got higher and higher, and then my stuff started looking more fluent. So, things that most people use in stop motion are characters, objects, food, even, which is not weird, but weird. Um, so, today we're going to be using character, action figure minifigure, dog, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're going to be using that as our base like character or object to animate with. Um, you can pretty much do stop motion with anything as long as you, as long, as long as you have it, you know? Um, so we're going to be animating Spider-Man. Now, if you don't have like anything to animate with, I recommend you just take like a, a simple pen marker or, or your hand. You can use your hand 
Um, and you can use that to animate with, like, practice, practice your frames, and all that. So, the first thing we're going to try to animate is movement itself. Like, moving his legs, his arms, stretching, moving his head. That's where we're basically going to practice with. I'm going to show you what it looks like at 5 FPS, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like at 17 FPS, which is the one that I'm using currently. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up the app. Once we open up the app, you're gonna press new movie. Once you run a new movie screen, you're gonna see what you see in your camera. Once you press the camera icon, you'll be all ready to take your photos and make your first stop motion film. Now, what I recommend for your stop motion film is making sure you have a stable environment. That's where the tripod will come in. And what else as far as taking pictures, do not use the screen button to take the pictures or else your film will be shaky and you will not like how it comes out. For taking pictures on the headphones, you're going to have to use the volume buttons instead of the middle pause and play button. And after that, you just go back and watch to see what your film looks like. So for our next step, after, since we already animated um, a character or an object, we're going to try to make it fly in the next tutorial. So that is it for this video. Even though this video may have been very short, this is just the beginning of it. So don't really expect like a long video on a lot to cover because I want to take this I want to take this video slowly and walk you guys through everything that I know so you can get it. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. This is my tutorial on mobile stop motion animating or animating stop motion on your phone. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial, which most likely will be making things fly or levitate or jump.